Would you believe that drinking just one sugary soda a day can boost your odds of developing type 2 diabetes by a startling 25%, even if your waistline never changes? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and today you'll discover how that daily bottle or can quietly rewires your metabolism, stresses your liver, and pushes you toward insulin resistance long before symptoms appear. I'm Alara Skye, and those numbers matter because liquid sugar hits you in ways solid food never can. When refined sweeteners rush into your blood without the fiber found in whole foods, your pancreas fires off an insulin surge while your liver wrestles a fructose flood. That scramble is the first step toward chronic fatigue, hidden fat buildup, and rising blood glucose. So why does a sweet drink do more damage than the same amount of sugar in an apple? Let's start with where the sugars go once you swallow them and how quickly they get there. Glucose from any food is used by every cell in your body, but fructose, especially the high fructose corn syrup packed into soda, heads straight to your liver. Because your liver is the sole organ that can process fructose, it converts the excess into fat, seeding fatty liver disease, and spiking inflammation. Meanwhile, your mitochondria, the energy generators in each cell, struggle with the overflow and churn out damaging byproducts. That mitochondrial stress is why people who drink a lot of soda often feel drained even before weight changes show up. Their cellular batteries are sputtering. The evidence goes far beyond how you feel. A meta-analysis pooling 29 long-term studies found that each additional sugary beverage per day raised type 2 diabetes risk by 25%, no matter someone's age or where they lived. How did researchers pin down that number so convincingly? They compared liquid sugars to sugars in whole foods and saw two opposite trends. Sugary drinks delivered the steep risk increase, while sugars eaten in fruit actually correlated with a lower risk. The takeaway is clear. It's not simply the grams of sugar. It's the form, the speed of absorption, and the nutrient context that determine the impact on your metabolism. The pattern isn't confined to adults. A long-running adolescent study presented at an American Heart Association meeting tracked boys from childhood to age 17. Each daily 8-ounce sugary drink raised insulin resistance by 34% and nudged fasting glucose and HbA1c higher clear markers that metabolic damage was underway before these teens ever left high school. That finding should light a fire under families, because early prevention is far easier than reversing entrenched disease later on. Yet adults aren't off the hook. A 20-year study of more than 40,000 U.S. men showed that one daily soda increased diabetes risk by 16%, even after factoring out weight, exercise, smoking, and total calories. The risk wasn't tied to body size, it was tied to the drink itself. Interestingly, cola stood out as the worst offender, probably because it's consumed more often and contains additives like caramel coloring. But the most encouraging data from that same study is also the simplest. Swapping just one sugary drink for water, black coffee, or unsweetened tea cut diabetes risk by 17%. One small shift produced a measurable benefit. That feeds directly into the question listeners always ask. What practical steps should I take? Step one is non-negotiable. Eliminate sugary drinks, including soda, sports drinks, and sweetened flavored waters. You stop the metabolic ambush the moment you stop the liquid sugar. Step two gives you breathing room. If you're used to several sweet drinks each day, replace just one with unsweetened coffee or green tea. Clinical evidence shows that single change lowers long-term diabetes risk, and it's doable without upending your entire routine. Step three is to eat your fruit. Fructose packaged inside an orange or a handful of berries comes with water, fiber, and antioxidants that slow absorption and protect your liver. Whole fruit satisfies a sweet craving while delivering nutrients you actually need. Step four is deceptively simple. Drink water before you reach for anything else. Many cravings for soda are really thirst in disguise. Keeping a refillable stainless steel or glass bottle handy makes hydration automatic and cuts down impulse sugar grabs. Step five focuses on finding replacements you genuinely enjoy. Explore herbal teas, 
flavored seltzers, or sparkling water with a squeeze of lime. When the alternative tastes good, you're not white-knuckling through deprivation. You're making a choice that feels easy to keep. We've talked a lot about risk, but listeners send in specific questions. The first, what's the single biggest danger of a daily soda? The answer is speed. Liquid sugar bypasses chewing and satiety signals, floods your bloodstream, and forces your pancreas and liver to absorb the shock day after day. Another frequent question. Is fructose from fruit the same as fructose from soda? Absolutely not. In fruit, fiber and water slow absorption, so your liver never faces an overload. In soda, refined fructose arrives in an unbuffered wave, overwhelming your liver's capacity and driving fat production. Parents often ask, are kids affected as much as adults? In many ways, they're hit harder. That adolescent study shows metabolic markers shifting before age 17, proving the groundwork for future disease can start in grade school. And finally, can you really lower diabetes risk just by tweaking drinks? Yes. Replacing a single daily soda with water, coffee, or tea cut risk by 17% in the 20-year men's study. Small beverage changes translate into big metabolic wins because they strike the problem at its source, liquid sugar. You've now got the science and the action plan. The choice comes down to what you drink today. Your challenge is simple. For the next seven days, replace every sugary beverage with water, black coffee, unsweetened tea, or a flavored sparkling water you enjoy. Track how your energy, cravings, and focus respond. You'll feel the difference long before lab tests catch up. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.